here with the video foot doc here with another video for you in all things foot and ankle. Today I'm going to talk about why removing a corner cowl surgically is not necessarily going to lead to its ultimate demise. Now, I often get this question asked to me by my patients who I'm treating for uh, painful corns and calluses and the simple answer is that a corner or a callus and they're both basically the same tissue um, is actually a normal thing. It's actually a natural response of the skin to pressure. Now when the skin receives uh, excessive pressure, and that's either from an irritating source above like a tight uh, shoe or just simply shoe material rubbing on it or such as uh, something like a sandal strap, or when it gets too much pressure from below, uh, including areas where there's bone prominences such as a prominent metatarsal head on the bottom of the foot, a deformity like uh, a bunion or a tailor's bunion on the sides of the foot, uh, or hammer toes in which there's contraction, uh, contractures on the, uh, the top of the foot at the toes. Um, these scenarios will lead to excessive pressure onto the skin itself and the skin has a natural response in which it basically uh, thickens the top layer of the skin uh, of that tissue uh, in order to protect itself from this excessive pressure. Um, now oftentimes the, the pressure is a combination of a bone deformity or bone prominence and a tighter shoe and this is a, a, just a natural response to those two scenarios. Um, the corner callus, as I said, uh, is actually naturally supposed to be there as a protective measure and by simply cutting out the corner of callus and letting the skin heal back over there again, you're going to simply end up with the exact same thing because that new skin is going to do the same. It's going to form a, a corner callus by thickening itself up in response to that pressure. Now the only way to really truly get rid of a corner callus or at least to limit its growth is to reduce the pressure. Now you can do this uh, via simple technique, uh, techniques externally uh, such as by making sure that you're wearing a shoe that fits properly and that it's not too tight over the toes or against the side of the foot uh, or by wearing something inside the shoe which reduces the pressure to an area such as the ball of foot if the callus is located underneath the ball of foot as they commonly are. Um, a padding can also be used as well uh, in order to reduce that pressure and simply filing it down on, on a periodic basis can also help keep the, that callus more comfortable although that doesn't do anything to eliminate the, that external pressure. Um, in order to truly get rid of the pressure point, especially if there is a, a bony area that's really contributing to this, um, the only surefire way to, to get rid of that is to actually correct the underlying deformity. Now that can include all sorts of different procedures, depends on um, where the prominent bone is, such as uh, correcting uh, uh, the hammer toes, correcting a bunion, um, moving or shifting some of the bone uh, on the bottom of the foot to reduce its prominence. Um, there's all sorts of different techniques for doing that and it really depends on where the pressure is actually located and what the foot structure is actually like because sometimes if you reduce pressure in one spot you may simply transfer it over to another and so that has to be considered uh, when one is considering a surgical correction uh, of these deformities to reduce uh, the, the pressure uh, underneath or over uh, a painful uh, uh, corner callus due to the bone prominence. Well, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please look for more videos on all things foot and ankle on this site as well as others. Or you may check out my website at www.inpodiatrygroup.com. Thank you.